come with me on a journey to calculate the packing efficiency of the body-centered cubic arrangement. Packing efficiency by definition is what fraction of the space inside a unit cell is taken up by actual atoms. If you pack golf balls together, there's going to be some empty space in between the golf balls because golf balls are hard and round and they can't expand to fill their container. There's going to be some empty space in there. The efficiency is how much is actually taken up by the balls themselves, in this case atoms. Now, the volume of atoms in body-centered cubic is not too hard. There's two spheres worth in each of the unit cells. One whole sphere for the body that makes up the center. Get it? Body-centered, huh? And then there's eight-eighths of atoms, one in each of the corners. So that's one whole and eight-eighths, which makes two whole ones. So the volume of the atoms is two spheres worth which is two times the volume of a sphere, four thirds pi r cubed. It's the formula for the volume of a sphere. The volume of the cell is gonna be a little more complicated to derive, but it won't be too bad. All I need you to see is that to get from one corner to the opposite corner of the cube, you have one radius, two radii for the body in the center, plus one extra radius. That means it's four r's, four radii, to get from one corner to the opposite corner. You have an edge length called a here, an edge length called a here, and an edge length called a here. So we can use the Pythagorean theorem in three dimensions to prove that a squared plus a squared plus a squared, that's each of the side lengths squared, equals the diagonal squared, which for us is four r. That's the equation I want to deal with. This is 3a squared, and this is 16r squared when you expand it out. That gives me a squared is 16 thirds of r squared, and a itself, if you square root both sides, is the square root of 16 thirds times r. And you can simplify that if you're into it. It's 4 over root 3 times r. Don't care which one you use, just be careful, because you're going to have to plug it into the volume of the cell here. What I want to point out is that the volume of the cell is edge length cubed, always, because it's cubic, all of these are cubic packing arrangements, and edge length is defined to be a. Which means that the volume of the cell here is a, all cubed, but what is a? A is 4 over root 3 times r. 4 over root 3 times r. This is the equation you have to simplify in order to get the packing efficiency. It's way easier than it looks as long as you can divide fractions. I'm going to multiply my 2 through the top here. That's going to be 8 over 3, and the pi r squared multiplies into the, sorry, pi r cubed multiplies into the numerator of that. Then I'm going to divide it by whatever I get when I cube all of this. That's divided by, big division sign, 64 over 3 root 3 r cubed. That r cubed is also in the numerator of the fraction that it's multiplied by. Do you remember how to divide two fractions by each other? I do. You multiply by the reciprocal of the second one. That means it is 8 pi r cubed over 3 times 3 root 3 over 64 r cubed. Ha! Huh. And you thought you were taking chemistry, not math. This simplifies a bit. Let's see. 3 cancels with 3. r cubed cancels with r cubed. 8 cancels a bit with 64 to leave 8 left over. I end up with root 3 times pi divided by 8. I can do that on my calculator and we'll see what the number turns out to be. That's the square root of 3 times pi, I'll do 3.14159, divided by 8. I end up with 0 0.6802, or a packing efficiency of 68.02%. Now that's more efficient than simple cubic, which we calculated 
in a previous one to be 52% efficient, but that makes sense because each of the layers is slightly off center. There's a little less wasted empty space. Cool, packing efficiency is all about getting the volume of the atoms. That's gonna be based off the volume of the sphere and the volume of the cell, which you're gonna to have to base off of edge length. Some teachers will give you that the edge length is four over root three R for body centered cubic, but I want you personally to be able to derive it yourself. Hey, best of luck to you.